taking yeah. care of all of that. <laughs> okay, we've been studying about the children of Israel, and uh, we took them out of Egypt and across the Red Sea, and we wandered around uh, in the desert for 40 years because of their disobedience. Now we've crossed the Jordan, and they're camping outside of Jericho on the other side of the Jordan. And one day, uh, while Joshua is walking around, an angel appears to him. And he, he goes up to the angel and he says, are you on our side or Jericho's side? And the angel said, ah, I'm not on either, I'm on God's side. And first of all, take your shoes off because you're on holy ground. So um, I would like to use that as an excuse not to wear shoes at all at church, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it might not be quite what he meant. Um, but then he gave the battle plan to Joshua on how they were going to conquer Jericho. So Joshua went back to the people, and he gave them the instructions of what they were supposed to do. The first thing they did was they had the priests carry the Ark of the Covenant. And then they had seven priests in front of them with ram's horn trumpets. Um, we, in America, that's usually called a shofar. And uh, they had some soldiers in front and some soldiers behind. And uh, the Bible says that Jericho had its gates shut and everyone inside was really afraid because this army that had just defeated the Egyptians is standing outside their gate. Well, just defeated 40 years ago. The Egyptians is standing outside their gate. So the children of Israel, while the, the Levites on the trumpets played a tune, which I did not realize until studying for this, they actually played music, and the people marched around the city. Nobody else made any noise. So you can imagine being on the city wall, you're a soldier, you've got your sword, you're ready for them to try and scale the wall, and they walk around playing music. And then they went back to their tents. And they were probably a little puzzled. Free concert. Free concert. The next day, Israel did the same thing. They walked around the city, and then they went back to their tents. This is not a conventional war. <laughs> and then the next day they did it. They did it for six days. And do you suppose by the sixth day that the people on the walls were yelling at them and making fun of them? Because they're walking quietly, walking around the walls with just the music playing. On the seventh day, they do it again. But they don't go back to their tents. They walk around a second time, and then a third time, and a fourth time. They walk around six times, and when they start to walk around the seventh time, the priests on the trumpets blow a loud blast, and all the people start yelling. At that moment, the walls of Jericho collapsed inward. Now physics, usually walls will collapse outward. But that would have crushed Israel. So God pushed them inward on top of themselves. The people inside started pulling their swords and killing whoever they could see. The children of Israel charged in, and they completely conquered the city. With the exception of the lady we talked about last week, or week before last, Rahab. They saved her and her family who was in her home. That everybody else in the city they killed, and they took all of the gold and silver from the city and dedicated it to God, and they completely triumphed. Now, this is not the way you normally conduct warfare. But when God tells you to do something, no matter how silly it sounds, you should do it. I heard once of a uh, young lady who very clearly heard God tell her, go to the gas station, go to the vending machine out front and do a handstand. So she went to the gas station, there was a man standing next to the machine, she sheepishly shrugged at him and did a handstand, and he began crying. He said, I really don't believe there is a God, but I said if there is a God, um, have, a, have some woman come to a handstand by the vending machine. 
If you don't, I'm going to go kill myself tonight. That man found Jesus because that woman did something so silly as spontaneously going and doing a handstand by a vending machine. God knows everything, and we have to trust him as our commander. When he tells us to do something, we should do it. And we see exciting stuff when that happens. Let's sing our song. <laughs>